we blamed ourselves enough. We complained enough. We cried enough. We fought ourselves enough. We hated ourselves enough. It's time to do what the Bible says. In the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2, the prophet Nehemiah cried to the people of his days. He said in verse 18, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 18, Then I told them of the hand of God which was upon me, as also the king's word that he has spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for his good work. It has come to a time that I have told God I will no more be one of the complainers but a part of the solution. And I'm calling on every Nigerian here today, and wherever the sound of my voice may be heard, it's time for us to do what Prophet Nehemiah is saying here. Come together as a people. Come, let's build a new virile nation. I never forget one stanza in our former national anthem. Where the composer said, a nation where no man is oppressed. If we all want to look at the ugly side of Nigeria, we find nothing good at it. I do not know any other country in Africa that is as big as ours, that is as populated as so much, blessed with natural resources, blessed with natural gifts of God. We have oil of different kinds, so many oil producing nations have one kind, Nigeria have three kinds of oil, one for the Father, for the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Whosoever you are, this is one country that we have to join our hands to build it together and get a new nation out of the nation that is pushed aside by evil vices. Men and women in this nation are responsible to God for the well-being of Nigeria. Prophet Nehemiah lived in a day where robbery, stealing, Lying, killing was also the issue of the day. But he was gracious enough to look around and say, God, am I going to be one of those who will continue to say what is bad in this nation, or am I going to be used as an instrument to build a new nation? He made his choice. Every Nigerian present here today, in any field, in any capacity, in any position, have right to choose either to become a rebuilder, a repairer, a man or a woman that chooses. While we live, Nigeria must not be destroyed. We can make that determination. Whether you are in the police, whether you are in the army, particularly those of you that God has given grace in position of rulership, in judicial, in the army, in the air force, in the navy, civilians, the church leaders, we whom God has given grace to occupy the pulpit, talk to millions of people every day and week. We have a right to call the nation to new attention. Nigeria is rotting enough and she needs a healer and God is able to heal Nigeria. Nigerian, come, let's build a new nation. In any field you find yourself, contribute to the well-being of our country. Look around you. See what you can do for Nigeria. See what Nigeria can do through you. See what Nigeria will do with you. See what you can allow God to use you for. I believe if we all determine, we will see the bet of a new nation wherein all of us at home and abroad shall be proud that we belong to a country as blessed naturally, as blessed spiritually, as blessed socially, as blessed numerically, as blessed in all fields. I am not.
not ashamed to identify myself with my country. Nigeria is my home. Anywhere I go in the world, in 81 countries in the five major continents, I boast of the flag of my country. I tell them I'm from Africa, not just from Africa, but from the giant of Africa. We can build a new nation. Let's not be ashamed of our country. Let's stand together, believe God together, to build a new nation together, as Nehemiah said. Strengthen your hands. Lay hold to your weapons to use to fight ills and things that are bad in our society. I will say to every Nigerian, everyone in authority here this morning, if you tried all you know scientifically, politically, governmentally, socially, traditionally, and it hasn't worked, there is one thing that will work, a call to prayer. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves to pray, God in heaven will answer their prayers. I call on all of you here today. Let's revisit our nation as a country. Let's not shun the progressive people. Let's not say to those in authority, you came there by foul means. I once shouted this, but I have discovered I will never be a politician nor in the army. It's too late now. No man will recruit me now in the army. And no politician would trust me not to use the Bible for my daily activities. So I fail on both sides. However, I'm calling on all of you in authority not to give up in the effort you are making for building a new nation. Nigeria needs you.